Hello children, today we are going to do mixed addition and subtraction. Mixed addition and subtraction? What is that? Oh, don't worry. They are just sums involving both addition and subtraction. Look at this example. 825 minus 643 plus 567 minus 428. In this example, you can see that there is both addition and subtraction. Such sums are classified under mixed addition and subtraction. But before I explain how to solve such sums, let us do a quick recapitulation of what are positive numbers and negative numbers. Positive numbers are those numbers which have a plus sign before them and negative numbers are those numbers which have a minus sign before them. By that definition, 643 which has a minus sign before it is a negative number. We write N. 567 which has a plus sign before it is a positive number. We write B and 428 which has a minus sign before it is a negative number we write n but what about 825 which does not have any sign before it here you must remember that a number which does not have any sign before it is always a positive number this means 825 is a positive number and we will write P. Now let us learn how to solve such sums. Mixed addition and subtraction is always solved in three steps. But before we begin with the first step, we must identify the positive and negative numbers which we have already done. So let us begin with the first step. Step 1. Add all the positive numbers. The positive numbers in this sum are 825 and 567. So let us arrange 825 plus 567 and when we add we get the sum 1392. After adding all the positive numbers in the sum, we'll move on to the next step. Step 2 is add all the negative numbers. The negative numbers are minus 643 and minus 428. To add them, we will write minus 643 plus minus 428. The minus sign here does not mean that you have to subtract the numbers. It just denotes that the numbers are negative. Hence, we will put the minus sign within brackets. Remember that when you add negative numbers, the sum will also be a negative number. Here, when you add minus 643 and minus 428, their sum will be minus 1071. After step 1 and step 2, we will do step 3, which is subtract the sum obtained in step 2 from the sum obtained in step 1. We already know that the sum obtained in step 1 is 1392 and the sum obtained in step 2 is Minus 1071. In step 3, from 1392, we will subtract 1071. And the difference is 1, 2, 3, 0. That is 321. In the end, we will do a quick revision of all the steps. In step 1, 
we added all the positive numbers to get the sum 1392. In step 2, we added all the negative numbers to get the sum minus 1071. And in step 3, from the sum obtained in step 1, we subtracted the sum obtained in step 2 to get the difference. And the answer is 321.